Daredevil number 19 by Charles Soule and Mark Laming. Matt Murdock finds himself in a strange bar, only now he can see. He talks with the purple bartender who tells him that at Zeb's, anything can happen. He asks him to play a game, subsequently called Worst Thing That Can Happen. In it, he asks his subjects to just quickly describe the worst possible thing they could imagine. As the reader pans the room, we see almost every manifestation of Daredevil ever. He looks up at the TV with screens trying to get his attention, but the following page reveals Daredevil in the Purple Man's lair. He tells him that he no longer makes it about what he wants his victims to do, but more about what they would never want to do. He explains to his hypnotized victim now how his machine works, using his children's powers to amplify his own while he keeps prying. The earliest incarnation of Daredevil speaks up. The worst thing about failing the ones you love and experiencing their deaths because of that failure, well, that's got to be the worst. He begins to get into it with a flashier version of The Man Without Fear as the real Murdoch watches television, a dark program where Kirsten asks Matt what he's doing. Kilgrave asks her not to ruin the surprise while Daredevil tells him that he could do better. Back at the bar, the bartender tells him that he believes him while the fights around them continue. Another of Daredevil's past selves points at the TV, telling them that he's making it too complicated. A news program plays with the crawl reading, This isn't real, Matt. Back in real life, Zeb asks Matt what he's waiting for, and he tells him that he's listening to various crimes occurring in the city. A mugging, criminal mischief, a potential suicidal person thinking of jumping. Back at the bar, the incarnations of his mind fight each other, one telling him that the worst thing has to be extreme, and Matt agrees. Zeb likes the sound of that. Daredevil asks Kilgrave at the machine about how it can control everyone, issuing chaos everywhere, and the Purple Man agrees that yes, it can. He dials up mass destruction all across the world. The reader sees the Avengers fighting a battle the whole world over. Satisfied, Kilgrave asks him now, and what Murdoch tells him, well, that's it. He knows everything is falling apart, and he does nothing. Enraged, the Purple Man threatens him while all the Daredevil incarnations evolve into his true self. Back in control, he attacks Kilgrave, possibly taking it too far. At the confessional, Father Jordan asks Matt if he killed him, and Matt tells him that no. He frees the Purple Children and tells him that he must go and protect his fiance amongst what he thinks is a world gone mad. The children discuss a plan to do something for him in return for helping them, and with that, were left to be concluded. You know, when you read a ton of comics, it's hard to stay on top of which ones that you really like and which ones you don't. Scanning Comicron to see if your favorites are bestsellers, I usually find that my preferred titles are lower on the list. This is an example of a book that doesn't get its due. Charles Soule is a fantastic writer, and while I've criticized basic artwork before, this is one where using so much black and dark colors, the hues and contrast really does set the mood. Compared to the current Punisher, X-Men, Blue, and Daredevil, this title should be smoking them. This current story arc turned out to be awesome, and while being somewhat unnoticed, continues to be among Marvel's best. I give this one a 9 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spanning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the nerdiest kid you know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.